Yo guys, what's up? My name is Jack2505. This is 2505 Gaming and today I can confirm that all story mission campaigns have been completed on insane and completed with teams of randoms and to be honest, most of them were pretty good and thanks to the new matchmaking and crossplay improvements, I was able to pull this off as a solo player. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel also to follow me on Twitch and join the Discord as well. Ever since the new Season 4 update, I've been putting a lot of time into AD and Fireteam Elite on Insane. If you've not tried Insane, I would suggest giving it a try before the new Pathogen DLC comes out. The classes I have used during the Insane run has mainly been the Tactician, Recon and the Doc. And the Doc has improved greatly since the last time I played around 2-3 to three months after launch. So on all the missions on Insane, you gotta keep certain doors open and go to certain checkpoints and kit yourself out with the best possible perks and weapons. One of the most frustrating things about playing on Insane is one, the damage to your teammates is so high and lethal. If you get hit by a teammate shotgun DMR or worse flamer, you are dead. You hardly get any time to pick up t um, down teammates and one mistake and you are dead. And two, the class selection seemed very, let me say, a bit restricted, a bit limited. Unless you're a gunner, lancer, recon, doc, technician, sometimes a demolition. Demolitions can be good, however, you have to be careful with flame weapons. So you have to be very selective with the weapons that you go in with. The phalanx can be good in the giant um, in the earth missions. So it can be difficult not to pick a typical meta class. But I am looking to complete each story chapter with each class in the game. So picking the phalanx in most missions might be tough depending on team setup and balance. So what's next? The Horde mode, Point Defense and Restock Turret mode will all be attempted and hopefully beaten on Insane in time for the Pathogen DLC. I also need to purchase the rest of the weapons and perks that's been available in the store in the last two seasons, review and make videos on them and the old stuff and the new stuff that's coming up in the Pathogen DLC. Going forward, I will be continuing my insane runs and completing chapters with classes that I've not completed it with. So if you want to join me, don't forget to follow me on my social media channels and I look forward to teaming up in a new DLC as well. I'm now currently level 40 prestige and I've just unlocked the bronze set and I look to continue all the way up to level 100. So guys, tell me, how is your season four going? Have you managed to complete all stages on Insane? Would you like to attempt the story campaign missions on Insane? Are you looking forward to the new DLC? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. My name is Jack2505. This is 2505 Gaming, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.